One of the biggest hang-ups for liberal New Yorkers could be Gillibrand's endorsement by the National Rifle Association, the state known for pushing strict gun control laws. That is the primary platform that New York Democratic Congresswoman Carolyn McCarthy is pledging to use when she runs, as she now threatens to, against Gillibrand in the 2010 special election, the primary to fill that final two years of Senator Clinton's term. One way or the other, uh, we're not going to have an NRA member representing New York State. Representative McCarthy now joins us live from Garden City, New York, on Long Island. It's great to see you again, Congresswoman. I, I remember covering you when you first ran, and I should point out, as painful as it is, that you first ran motivated by what happened to your husband, who was killed by a gunman, a crazed gunman on the, um, on the commuter rail out in Long Island. Your son was injured, and that's what brought you into politics. And it has, and uh, I certainly have never forgotten why I came into politics. So you can imagine uh, how I felt when I heard that uh, someone uh, that has the endorsement of the NRA was going to be the next senator for New York. Uh, that's when I said I, I cannot hold my voice back any longer. Tell me what you think happened here and what you think about the way the governor conducted this process and vetted the various candidates and treated the other candidates, obviously Caroline Kennedy. Well, I, I think, you know, obviously uh, I wasn't on the inside. Uh, I have talked to the governor a number of times. Uh, I shouldn't say a number of times. I talked to the governor uh, two weeks ago with my concerns. I said to him, I understand that you will pick the next senator. That's fine with me. But there is one person that I do not feel uh, should be named senator. Uh, now, obviously, in the last 48 hours, uh, it, it sounds like who's in control up there. Uh, there didn't seem to be any, you know, rumors here, rumors there. And that's not how you treat uh, people that are looking to run for this, uh, the Senate. <coughs> Uh, that is not how you treat people that have, in my opinion, a great deal of respect from the people of New York, but also from the country. Congresswoman, in terms of the gun issue, uh, is it possible that the politics are on her side because she can pick up votes upstate, or is New York such a liberal state on the gun issue that this seat could be vulnerable? Well, I do believe that she can be vulnerable. And yes, uh, obviously she can pick up votes upstate New York, but if you follow the politics here in New York State, for anyone that's running for a statewide office, uh, has to win certainly from Westchester all the way down to Montauk. And with that being said, uh, those are the people that she's going to have to convince uh, that she's not a uh, NRA poster girl, uh, that she will change her uh, views on so many other different issues. And as far as, you know, calling everybody in New York uh, State a liberal, you know, I, don't, I actually don't believe that. We're a lot more progressive and we certainly care about a lot of the issues uh, and that's the way the majority of people are. I represented a Republican area for many years. It's only been the last few years uh, that we've been slightly going uh, Democratic. But that doesn't mean that you can't stand up to take care of the people that need the help or to certainly vote uh, when you see injustices out there. Uh, what was the role, do you think, of Senator Schumer? Because uh, my colleague Chuck Todd is reporting that there are reports out of New York that he actually favored Gillibrand for this position. Well, obviously, you know, Chuck is looking at the politics of it, and that's fine. I understand that. I'm not naive that way. But I also said to Chuck yesterday, this is a personal issue for me. This has nothing to do with politics. And I said, I just believe that uh, the, the governor and certainly you are wrong in making this judgment. Uh, there are many people here in New York State, uh, whether it's a state assemblyman, a state assemblywoman, uh, whether it's a congressperson or the county executive. You have people that can be, represent our state very well with the right point of views to start with. Uh, I'm not out here to make trouble, but when I uh, have been fighting the NRA for 15 years to certainly uh, make not only our state safer, but our country safer, and when I've been working with Mayor Bloomberg uh, to make sure that our police officers are safe, and uh, we see something like this, I had to speak up. I had to let the people of New York to know that that uh, this is who their next senator is going to be. You know, it seems incredible that it was 12 years ago that we first met when I was covering your first campaign. And uh, this issue is, it, it never goes away for you, does it? No, it doesn't go away for me. I mean, 
Uh, we just came through the 15th anniversary and certainly I've gone on with my life but certainly when I look at uh, my son and God bless you know he's doing very well but he's certainly uh, still suffering from those uh, injuries that he received uh, uh, 15 years ago and I also believe that I'm a spokesperson for many victims across this country uh, for those that have lost someone but also those that have survived and never forget those wounds completely understandable and we thank you uh, for speaking out and for joining us today it's good to see you again congresswoman thanks so much it's very good to see you Andrea thank you so much